Okay, so one great use case um, is competitive analysis. And you know we have teams that are dedicated to competitive analysis, but as a product marketer, I like keeping a pulse on things and often providing updates to my team. We're stakeholders when new things come out. So there's a lot of competitors in the creative authoring space. We all know Canva is one of the fast growing competitors. So you know, Canva's recently released a blog post saying here's 10 new features, what's new in October. And I just want a quick read before an informal stand-up that I'm gonna have with my team. So Storytel is fantastic for this because I can have Storytel process it um, and it will provide a summary for me. So just a very nice, clean summary. But then I can also chat with it and ask it a specific question. In this case, I asked it for bullet point form, all of the new features discussed on this page, and I told it the audience so that it can make sure that its response was appropriate to that audience. The neat thing about this is that I can then go into Storytel and this article has been uploaded as knowledge. And so I can come in here and that feature extraction kind of prompt, there's a library for it. So I can quickly just apply it and push enter and submit it. So I don't have to retype it every time. This is a common prompt that I have for blogs like this or press releases that announce new features. And so it'll provide that, that great summary. And the other thing I can do is share this smart chat with my team. Um, I can share it with my team so that they can go have a conversation with the content. Maybe they want more insight into a specific feature or they want to understand uh, some context around the announcement. What, was, what were the themes that were elevated? So they'd be able to come in here and say, what were the main themes from this article? And you know, product innovation, global communications. This is just fantastic resource for a product marketer or product managers that I work with uh, like this. And Pierre, one question about what you're showing us right now. I see the, the footnotes here. Uh, in terms of like getting to the actual source content, if you were to click on one of those footnotes and see the, the storyteller references, is there any, do you have any just thoughts or opinions about being able to actually dig into the source like that? Yeah, I mean, so, I think one of the barriers probably that we didn't talk about in our, in our conversation mm -hmm. earlier is around the trust that folks have when they're using an, a large language model or a tool like Storytel. And so what's great about Storytel is that all of its knowledge um, when you're in conversation with a piece of content like this is referenced. Mm -hmm. And so you can see what contributed to that analysis. So here we have data-driven decision-making, it's 0.5, so if I click that bullet point, or that footnote, it brings it up on the right here, 